This most recent blast of snow and cold could have you pining for warmer weather. And one destination visitors flock to in the summer is Jacob's Pillow. Located in Beckett, the Pillow, as it's known to many, is a 163-acre National Historic Landmark and home to America's longest-running international dance festival. Producer Dave Fraser brings us something to look forward to on this snowy night. We're most known as a 10-week summer dance festival. We bring over 50 companies uh, every summer to two main theaters um, and an outdoor stage. These are companies from all over the world in all different genres. We have public talks, community classes um, that take place throughout the festival. And really, um, Jacob's Pillow is a 220-acre campus, 36 buildings. We are a site for people to explore and experience. And in the summer, there's sort of no more beautiful place to experience dance. It goes back to the 1930s when Ted Sean first came here when it was uh, pretty much an abandoned farm. And the property that we're on now uh, had not been actively used for some time. So the house was in disrepair. There was no electricity, no running water, no telephone. It was very isolated, which is hard to imagine now that we bring 100,000 people or more every year to our doors. The rock that you see over my shoulder was uh, known as Jacob's Pillow. The road that is near here, um, Route 20, is known as Jacob's Ladder. Recognizing that Jacob's Ladder was nearby and this pillow-shaped boulder then must be Jacob's Pillow. The performances, which started in 1933, were pretty small at first. They just took place in the studio and uh, it was only after we built the Ted Shawn Theater in 1942 that we started attracting larger audiences. The theater seats 620. Um, and of course now it's one of three different performance spaces that we have. All of the activity here centers around dance, but what's really wonderful is that not only what's on our stages, but really the activity around the grounds, which uh, surrounds performances, uh, is multifaceted. So yes, there are performances, there are also talks, there are exhibits, there are picnics, there are loads of ways for people to come and spend time and enjoy this beautiful spot. I do think that the notion of getting away from it all and inviting in a transformative experience is something that can happen at a place like Jacob's Pillow that doesn't happen at other dance festivals because we are in this amazing site. I learn about Jacob's Pillow through the stories that I hear, the stories of people who've been coming here for 60 years, who for them, this is their special place. This is what they look forward to every summer. To a newcomer who has heard about Jacob's Pillow, has never been here before, and there's just no way to describe what Jacob's Pillow is until you get here and you see the magic of our inside out stage and the backdrop of those mountains behind it, till you arrive in the Ted Shawn Theater and remember who's been on that stage, from Paul Taylor to Merce Cunningham to Martha Graham to Trisha Brown to all of the American greats and that their spirits are all around us. And I think for our students to connect to that history gives them faith in this field that they've chosen for themselves. And for established artists, I've often heard them say that they get a sense of renewal by coming here. They sort of renew their faith in this, um, in this amazing art form. I heard of Jacob's Pillow and I, I heard it was a very prestigious venue but seeing is believing, and then when you see, you still don't believe. Um, it, has, it has a sense of magic to it. It has an energy that has lived beyond the founders, and I think something of their essence still lives in the woods, in the rocks, in the people, in the space, in the premises. Um, there is something very magical and special about this place. <laughs> 